All right, so Linux, how to nohop. Today we're gonna to learn how to use nohop on Linux. So we're, we're gonna be running processes in the background that are detached from the terminal. So um, this is my little guide I quick threw together, just shows you how to do everything you might wanna do. Um, we're we're gonna go through these examples over here. So we, we have a test script created. Um, looks like this, it's just an infinite loop that just outputs test every one second. So we're going to learn how to run that in the background. So um, let, let's see. So you, you, you could run this like um, you, you could just add an ampersand on the, on the end of that, and it's going to run in the background. Uh, whoops. So I uh, want to actually run the file. So run the file in the background. Now every one second, it outputs test. So um, let's see. Now we, we can no hop this like this. We, we can use the no hop command and say test.sh and ampersand. Now we're gonna run that in the background and it's ignoring input and appending output to no hop, no hop dot out. So we, we can, if we wanna see what the output actually is, um, we, we can just, uh, we, we can tail that file. So if, if we say uh, tail-f, f-f to follow, no hop dot out, no hop dot out is where anything that would normally be printed on the terminal, it gets printed out to that when you're using no hop. So you, you see uh, it's printing out like this. Um, then if you, you can control C it. All right, so um, what, what, what else? So you, you could say, we don't, we don't even need EF. We, we could just say PS and we can see in the background it's running bash. Um, this is our script right here. Um, All right, um, yeah, so this is gonna be our shell. This is gonna be our program that we're running. I anyways, um, let's see here. What, what else do we wanna do? So we, we, we could kill it. Let, let, let's just try killing it. We're going to tail this file. So there, there, there we go. We, we, we killed that process. And we can now see that it's not outputting anything anymore. So um, let's let's try running no hop on that again. So we, we can see it's running as a job. Um, Bring it to the foreground. I'm not sure if that will work. So we, we, we can also, um, so it does bring it to the foreground, but it, it lo looks like it's still outputting to that file. Anyways, um, moving along here, we, we could just run no hop on this on test, and um, that's going to run it in the. All right, so we we can run. Um, let, let, let's try this out. We can say no hop. 
test and run it in the background with an ampersand. So this is gonna put it in the background. So it's ignoring input and appending output to nohop.out. And there's nothing, anything that would normally be printed on the terminal is actually just going to the file nohop.out. So if we tail, we, we can tail dash F dash F to follow. So it'll keep seeing any updates to that file. Nohop.out, we can see what's being output to it. So every, uh, every second it's, it's printing out the word test. And um, so anytime we want to check on that, we can see it. So let, let's say if I kill this terminal and open up a new terminal and uh, let's, let's make the text a little bigger on that. And now we can we can see this file is still being written to. So we killed our terminal, opened a new terminal, and our file is still running in the background and still outputting to nohop.out. So this is good if you want to log out and log back in somewhere else or just don't want to keep a terminal open on your desktop, you can launch something in the background and have it continue running and you can come back and check your output later on when it's done. So um, what, what, what else do we want to do? So if we want to kill it, We, we can see uh, we, we can see it running right here and we can see the parent process is init or I, I guess this case one is probably system D or something a anyways um, but let's kill it like this and we, we can see it's running under no we can't see jobs because we killed the initial terminal but uh, let, let's let's try killing this. And so, so it, it's gone. So um, we, we can try tailing that file again and we're gonna see no more updates because we killed it. All right, so that's that. Uh, let's, let's move on to the next thing. So if you, you could kill it and if, if that doesn't work, you could do a dash nine to, to force kill it. Now um, let's try running it again. Um, no hop in the background and we're going to look at jobs now we, we can see that this is running as job number one. So we could bring this to the foreground if we want. Um, so just running FG will bring the first job to the foreground by default, or we could just say FG one to bring it to the foreground. So this is this will only work if you haven't killed this terminal yet. If you kill the terminal, it's not gonna be in the, the jobs list. So we can bring it to the foreground. Now it's running in the foreground, but it's, it's not, um, you, you, all the output is still getting redirected to uh, nohop.out. So um, control seeing that will uh, kill the job if it's in the foreground. Now we, we can also run this without, without the ampersand and that's gonna run in the foreground. Um, it's still outputting to nohop.out so, and um, let's see. So if we wanna put this in the background we're, we're gonna just use a control Z. Now the job is in the background, but it's stopped. So we, we, we can say, uh, we can say jobs, and you can see job number one is in the back, is stopped. So we can say BG one, or, or we could just say BG to hit the first job by default. And there we go. Jobs will show that this is running. So now if we tail the, we tell this output file and it's outputting. So if you don't, if you don't use the ampersand and you're just running in the foreground, um, you, you can put it in the background by just typing uh, control Z and then start it back up by running BG to put it in, running in the background. So FG to bring it to the foreground, BG to put it in the background. Um, let's try that. Yeah, FG or control Z BG. Anyways, um, so yeah, and we, I, I wrote about like these, like if you, if you want to remember that stuff, you can just check this page here. This page, you, you'll see a link to this page in the description of the video, but um, yeah, you're gonna, 
all, all, all the details for how to do this is, is on this page. So you, you can just check this reference if you like. Um, what, what else do we want to cover? So look, if you want to choose where you redirect to, you, you can actually do that like this. You can redirect STD out uh, to out.log or whatever log you want to. And you can also redirect STD air to STD out and then uh, run it in the background. So everything will, errors and standard out will all go to out.log or whatever log you want. So um, let's see here, jobs, all right. All right, so let's kill this and try it again. I probably could just bring it to the foreground, but there we go, killed it. Now let, let's try running this. And let's give it a name like uh, my log dot out. So this is gonna run it in the background and uh, we can see here's the default file that it was writing to before. And here is my log dot out dot log. This is where it's writing to right now. So if we run that again, you see that file grew a little bit. So this is our custom log file and we could, uh, let's just tail that. And you can see every second it's outputting to it. So um, that, that's pretty much all we wanted to really cover. That shows you how to, I, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this. So that's how to, a, that's how to no hop on Linux. That's how to use the no hop command to run things in the background and have them not die. Um, you know, check the link in the description if you wanna read more about this. Um, l l let's talk a little bit more about no hop versus disown versus ampersand. So the ampersand just puts the process in the background Diso disown removes the process from the shell's job list. It won't receive a SIG hop and won't die when the shell dies. It doesn't disconnect it from the terminal. So if the terminal is killed, the process will keep running until it tries to use STD in or STD out. At this point, it'll fail. So basically, if it tries to output anything, it'll fail. So our example here, that's continuously logging output, it would fail immediately when you kill the, when you kill the terminal because it won't the place where it tries to write to will be gone. So, but so long as you don't have any output, you could use the disown command. I wouldn't bother using that. I can't see a reason why you would use that instead of no hop. No hop will disconnect the process from the terminal. It'll stop it from receiving sig hop. And so it will survive after the shell is killed. And it will also redirect std out to a file called no hop dot out. It will stay in the job control list until the shell is killed. That's why when you run the jobs command to view jobs, you see it there until you kill the terminal and start a new one, then it's not in the jobs list, but the process is still running. And um, worth noting, oh, so sig hop is the signal that it receives. Normally when you kill a shell, it'll send, that, it'll send a signal to the child process, telling that child process to shut down also. So if, if you don't want that to happen, you, you, you want to make sure that child process doesn't receive the sig hop, and that's one of the things that the no hop command does. So that, that's pretty much everything you would want to know. That's everything I think we should cover. Um, yeah, check the link in the description for this guide, and also give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Leave a comment down below if you have any, any uh, questions, criticisms, comments, praise, anything you want to say. Just leave a comment down below. Um, but also, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more things like that. Hit the little bell icon. And um, as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. We'll see you next time.